This tell me alien attack has stopped working. How dare it? This is one I fixed in a previous video. I would normally put it in that corner up there, but it was such a terrible video that I'm not going to bother. I think the problem with it originally was it the controls didn't work, uh, but there was just a problem with the ribbon cable. Something like that anyway. But now I've taken it out of storage and I thought I'll just have a quick go on it. Pop some batteries in and it didn't work. Nice. There we go. On. Nothing at all. Completely dead. I'll just double check that the batteries are are okay. I'm pretty sure they are. Voltage DC. There you go. Six volts. So I don't know why it stopped working. I'll just have to take it apart and have a look, I guess. So let's do that. Getting attacked by aliens, no joke. Let's fix this, start with that, it's going up in smoke. Thought I fixed it once, for show. Sure. Guess it was a failure for the bro of Russell Crowe. Sky 22, Diamond Slow in his tea. Put him at the start, cause his name's so long. G, Def, Willie, Jonathan Wiggs, McGibbles. Is that some kind of fast food? Old the pickles, Dr. Princess Wizard, RVE. Keep hate, shake it with Twitch, Tidder, Viroki. Emerald Tim, Man, in Flim Jam, Rag, playing card till I die. And I get that tea bag. Sorry, Stark, French Ovier, Sean Bay, Western, and Western Flux, Wanjar K. Lee Grieve, A1 Base, Kangal Burr. Sorrow Cat Infinity, which do you prefer? Adam Taylor, Markovitz, 19. None of those names are quite as obscene as Peter File. Ah, it's been a while. Going back to the rude names in style. Andrea Fascio, McAdams, Oz Newton. IRL Tools, John Prusik, Jonathan Harden. Dr. Funkenstein, Nid Huega, Badger Squatch. Ben Rush, Monkey Joe, Tokyo, Top Notch. So this, I'm pretty sure this is what I repaired. I think there were just some dry solder joints here because I can tell by how horrible those solder joints are that I've done there. So I'll probably just reflow those, but that's not obviously not the issue. I am guessing it's something on this board here. Now, there isn't actually a lot. We've got a few capacitors, a few resistors, a few diodes, whatever that is, a transistor, some kind of coil, another transistor, whatever they are. You can tell I know my stuff. And a chip. I know what they are. So I think the first thing I'll do is I'll pop the batteries back in and then we'll follow the voltages round. Okay, so we should have the six volts up here. There's three volts there. And three volts there. Six volts in total. So that's fine. Uh, it has got a DC jack here, hasn't it? And I've seen these fail. I think Vince has had a couple of these that have failed. And then it stops putting the voltage through. So where do they go? There we go. Plus six volts should be there. So I need a ground. Where's the ground? Well, I'll just use the ground from the battery. So there. And then should have six volts here. Oh, three volts. Oh. Oh, wait. Six volts. It is there. Okay, from there it runs up to here. I presume it then jumps across to there. It drops to 5.5. Going through a capacitor there. Should also be 5.5 here. Which it is. Then it runs around to that jumper cable there. The ribbon cable. Still 5.5. It also goes this way. 6 volts. 6 volts. Then where does it go? It's 5.4 there. 5.4. Okay. All the voltages seem to be there. 5.5. And we got it on all these resistors. I wonder whether it's going to be the chip. There's voltage everywhere. 
Already I'm struggling. Maybe it's a faulty switch. It's got voltage there, 5.4 volts. So by jumping those together, that's what would make it come on. Because literally all the switches do is just the slider that connects those two together. Yeah, I was wondering whether it might be a problem with the area that I soldered previously, but the voltage is there. So the voltage does come in there and it does travel around. And then when it's switched on, it would travel through to there. So I don't think there's any problem with that. Let's see if we can have a closer look under the microscope. Okay, so resistor there, 10K. Jumpers, couple of resistors. Transistor, resistor. What's that? It's a bit loose, that. What is that? And why is it so loose? CSB 400. Oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. CSB 400. Let's Google that. Is it a crystal? One of the results says it's a crystal. But I don't know if that's the right thing. Crystal CSB 400. Unfortunately, there's loads of other things called CSB 400, including a Bosch drill and a Fisher regulator. So I'm not finding a lot on that other than that crystal. It's just concerning me that it's so wobbly, but maybe it's okay. Let's carry on. What else have we got? More jumpers. Capacitor, capacitor. Diode, diode. Resistor. What's that? Is that another transistor? Yeah. Okay, well, I can't see anything out of the ordinary. Let's have a look at the chip. Chip looks okay. No visible burn marks or cracks or anything hmm let's check these diodes start with that one need to borrow you Dave let's put multimeter in diode mode this one diode should have between there and there We've got 2.4 volts. Flip the leads. 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Is that right? You've got 0 0.7 that way. I thought the other way. It should be. It should be open though. Not 2.45. Oh, I wish I knew more stuff. Uh, let's check the other one. So, red probe on emitter, black probe on base, open. Okay, and then the other way. Oh, 2.4. Well, that's completely different. Oh, I'm confusing myself. This is, this should be really simple. I think I better take those out and check them in my component tester. There it is. Oh, NPN. BJT NPN. That's probably right, isn't it? Let's try the other one. Because we're definitely reading differently, but that might have been because we're in circuit. Nearly lost it. Oh, what's come up as a diode? Yeah, diode. That's not right, is it? Well, I think it is a kind of diode, but it should be reading it as a NPN, and it's not doing. Okay, I think this guy might be faulty. Let's check it now. It's out of circuit. You can uh, watch over it, Dave, there. We've got OL. Let's flip the leads. We've also got OL. Right. 
I think that's failed. Let's check this one. Here and here. Oh well. Flip the leads. And 0.7. So that one's okay. That one is not. I don't think I have any of those. Actually, I probably have, because it's quite a common one, isn't it, I think? Let me go and check. I have several bags here. Nope. 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 Yep. Nice. Okay, because I've got quite a few in this bag, I think I'm going to replace both of them. I don't know if they're a common failure point, but I figure if one's gone, maybe the other one's going to go. Might as well change them both now, I've got them both out. So let's do this. Nearly put it in the wrong way around. I'm just going to clean up these joints that I did in the previous video as well, I think. Much better. I'm also going to give this a clean while it's apart. And one thing that bugged me from the original one is that some of the... I mean, it's in really good condition, but if you look at the the writing, it's sort of worn off. So this should be silver like this here, but it's worn off a bit here, here, and certainly here. You can hardly see it at all on the up and down, presumably because you put your fingers here to do, to do the up and down mo. I have this silver pen thing, which I'm hoping will work quite nicely. Let's find out. There we go.
Nice. Amazing. That looks so much better. Right, well, let's put it back together and let's see if it works. Thanks for your help, Dave. Nice. Right, well, let's see if it works. <laughs> yes! Yes, it does! Get in! Not sure I can play this one handed. Some would argue I couldn't play it two handed. Change to pro. Oh, it's definitely much harder in pro. <sighs> Stupid game. I'm going to send him to outer space to find another race. I'm gonna send him to outer space to find another race. I'm gonna send him to outer space to find another race. I'm gonna send him to.